Hello, today I will be sharing with you my trip to Osaka. Osaka is actually the second largest city in Japan. It is famous for lots of Japanese food, such as takoyaki. Just a warning, there's going to be a lot of food. Let's take a stroll down Don Tombori, one of the famous landmarks around the area. It is famous for its bustling streets filled with food and flashy neon billboards. The most notable one has to be the Glicomat. Dun dun dun! The sign probably gave it away. We came here for takoyaki. We went for the original and the dipping takoyaki. So, how does it all work? Well, once the takoyakis are cooked, you will put some takoyaki sauce and mayonnaise on them, topping them off with a good sprinkle of fish flakes. This is the dipping version of the takoyaki, the negi akashiyaki. Instead of having takoyaki sauce and mayonnaise, you will get a piping hot broth as a dipping sauce. It was so yummy. After takoyaki, we went to our next stop, which is this dumpling restaurant. The sign says it is the Osaka king of dumplings. Let's have a look. Wow, the dumplings look exactly like the giant prop outside. Okonomiyaki time! So, this is a Japanese style omelette. It is similar to takoyaki because it also consists of a thick batter. It can be layered with lots of different ingredients. Here we had one with pork and one with noodles. We also had some scallop. Yes, we had a non stop eating day at Don Tombori. Let's have a break before we go munch something else. We popped into this massive arcade and played some games. Helen showed us this game where you have to press the coloured squares accurately with the background music. It gets pretty fast. You can say it's like DDR, but you're playing with your hands instead of your feet. Cute, cuddly toys everywhere! It's so fluffy! I'm really confused. Can someone tell me what is the purpose of this emergency exit? I mean, look at, look at it. <laughs> it's time to munch again. This time we've gone for some skewers. How could we possibly end our food adventure without having dessert? Honestly, this is one of the best crepes I've ever had. <laughs> I almost said crab. You can choose a variety of fillings. I think I chose strawberries and cream with a scoop of ice cream. The pancake is really soft and the combination of fillings taste amazing. If you love crepes, you need to come here. I also bought a Japanese pudding so I could have it at the hotel later in the evening. Japanese beauty gadgets never cease to amaze me. Apparently, this is for shaping your face. I believe you use this to give yourself a back massage using your thumb. As for these, one is for wrinkles and the other one trains you to smile like the girl on the packaging. We've been told there's a second way of eating tempura. You know when we go to restaurants, you always get a separate tempura dipping sauce. Apparently, you can just eat it with a pinch of salt. This is the coolest um, fountain, uh, shower, uh, water display thing, whatever you call it. It's one of the coolest inventions ever. All the patterns and numbers were created with sprinkles of water. Like I mentioned in my Tokyo vlog, there is a Pokemon Center in every single city. So how can we miss out the Osaka one? Is it a Pikachu? Or is it a Charizard? Or is it a Pikazard? Who wants to try Pikachu curry? For this dinner, we had shabu shabu. For those who don't know what shabu shabu is, it's basically hot pot but Japanese style. My friend introduced me to this restaurant called Shabu Tei. They have their own marinade as a sauce. The meat quality was really good and the vegetables were really fresh. If you want to give this a go, definitely try out Shabu Tei. We didn't get to see any Tokyo drift in Japan. I guess this was the closest thing. Could you guess where we're going? Yet yeah, no, we didn't go watch 2pm. We just happened to see their truck. I think they had a concert there that day. The very glamorous Osaka castle. The view from the Osaka castle. These 
These are dango. They are sweet Japanese dumplings made from rice flour. We are in Japan, so how can we miss out the conveyor belt sushi? Yep, they scanned our plates and knew exactly what we ate. Can you believe these are actually apples? Okay, so this is the funny thing. We didn't realize we actually spent £12 on toffee apples. The salesperson was just too convincing. She was too nice and friendly. Who would like some green tea latte? Check out my ride on the left. Seriously, can you believe no one actually locks up their bikes in Japan? It's that safe. People are so well behaved. Just look at all these bikes. They don't have a single lock or chain on them. Mmm, curry time! Apart from drinks, you can also get cup noodles from vending machines. I can see Mount Fuji! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Osaka as much as I did. I will speak to you next time.